Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for A and B in this nice algebra problem? From what you are given here, we can multiply through by AB to play this fraction. And here we have AB multiplied by 5 over A, then plus AB multiplied by 6 over B, now equals to AB multiply by 7 then here this a we cancel a here so 5 times b here we have 5b then plus here also b we cancel each other 6 times a we have 6a now equals to 7 times ab we have 7ab then from here let's take everything to one side such that here 6a come here become minus and 5b come here become minus then we have 7ab minus 6a minus 5b then left with 0 on this side and next step from here let's factor 7a out here so from these two things when we take 7a out here what will be left here will be b then minus here will be left with 6 over 7 then minus b minus 5b from here now equals to 0 then in order to get b minus 6 over 7 also on this side let's add 30 over 7 to both sides so here we have 7 into bracket b minus 6 over 7 then minus 5b plus 30 over 7 here now equals to here also we have 30 over 7 then from this two term as well, when we factor what is common here, we have 7a into bracket b minus 6 over 7 here. And from this two term here, we have minus 5 common. So here when we factor that out, that's minus 5 into bracket. Here we have b minus 6 over 7 left here now equals to 30 over 7 please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell thank you for subscribing and from here we have these two brackets come on when we factor that we have b minus 6 over 7 then into bracket 7a minus 5 now equals to 30 over 7. Now, yes, we multiply through by 7 to remove this, you know, 7 here. So multiply here through by 7. And on this side, we have 7 multiplied by B minus 6 over 7 here. Then into bracket 7A minus 5. Now equals to here remain 30 here. Then we can use this 7 to open this bracket. Then this becomes 7b minus 6. Then multiply by 7a minus 5 equals to 30 on this side. Then we have the product of these two numbers. And then uh, we have 30 as a result. So these are the possible outcome. So is it that we have 30 equals to 1 multiplied by 30? Or we have it as 30 multiplied by 1. So let's say this is the first case here, case 1. Then also we can have it as. 2 multiply by 15 or it might be 15 times 2 so 
let this here be k2 or here we can have 30 as 3 times 10 or we have it as 10 times 3 and let's call this k3 from here then also we might have it as 5 times 6 or we have it as 6 times 5 and let's call this as k4 from here now when we look at this what we have from the first case here it implies that we have the product which is 7b minus 6 times 7a minus 5 will be equal to 1 times 30 here and which implies that from what we have here we equate and from here we have 7b minus 6 equals to 1 and uh, also we have we have 7a minus 5 equals to 30 then when we solve here this minus 6 come here with 1 plus that's 7b equals to 1 plus 6 which is 7 divide both sides by 7 that means b here equals to 1 so we have b equals to 1 on this side then also from here minus 5 from the bottom plus so we have 7a equals to 35 now divide both sides by 7 a now equals to 35 over 7 which is equals to 5 so we have b equals to 1 and a equals to 5 now for the second aspect of that case 1 now when this is interchanged now and uh, we have it as 7b minus 6 multiplied by 7a minus 5 which is now equals to 30 times 1 which implies that here we have 7b minus 6 equals to 30 and we have 7a minus 5 equals to 1 now from here this will give us minus is coming with 36 that means we have 7 b equals to 36 from here now divide both sides by 7 and here we have b equals to 36 over 7 and here we in the beginning, we define a and b to be in the set of integers. So here, the value of b we get here is not an integer solution. Also now, on this side as well, taking 5 here with 1 plus, so we have 7 we equal to 6, divide both sides by 7, a equal to 6 over 7. So here, these two not integer solution is not a member of not a member of integer solution that we desire that's for the case one now also for the case two for the case two we have 2 times 15 and 15 times 2 so here we have 7 b excuse me we have 7 b minus 6 multiply by 7a minus 5 now equals to here we have 2 times 15 which implies that here we equate 7b minus 6 equals to 2 and also we have 7a minus 5 equals to 15 now when we solve from here minus 6 come here become plus divide both sides by 7 that means b equals to 8 over 7 from here then also here we have a equals to 20 over 7 so this one two are not member of 
integer solution. So now for the other part of it, when we interchange this, so that means we have seven b minus six times seven a minus five equals to fifteen times two. Now we equate this as seven b minus six equals to fifteen. And also 7a minus 5 equals to 2. Now when we solve from here, we have 7b equals to 21, 15 plus 6, and b here equals to 3. So here we have an integer solution here. And also we take minus of a become plus. So we have 7a equals to 7. And here a equals to 1. So also we have integer solution from here. Then for the case 3, which we have here, which is 3 times 10 and 10 times 3, implies that we equate this, which is 7b minus 6 multiplier by 7a minus 5 so now equals to 3 times 10 then we have 7b minus 6 here equals to 3 and we have 7a minus 5 equals to 10 now from here when we take this here and we divide by 7 we have b equals to 9 over 7 and also on this side we have a equals to 15 over 7 so both are not a member of integer solution now also the other part of it when we interchange this it implies that we equate 7b minus 6 now be equals to 10 and 7a minus 5 will now be equals to 3 that is here we have b equals to 16 over 7 and here we have a equals to 8 over 7 so these two two are not a member of integer solution then for the last case which is case 4 here it implies that we have 7b minus 6 then into bracket 7a minus 5 now equals to 5 then 6 that is here we have 7 b minus 6 equals to 5 then 7 a minus 5 equals to 6 then solving here we have b equals to 11 over 7 and here we have a equals to also you have 11 over 7 now here these are not member of integer solution as well then also when we interchange this it implies that we have 7b minus 6 equals to 6 and we have 7a minus 5 equals to 5 and here we have b now equals to 12 over 7 and here we have a equals to 10 over 7 so these two as well are not member are not member of integer solution now therefore from what we have here integer solution we have from case 1 and case 2 are therefore a comma b equals to we have 5 comma 1 from case 1 and then from case 2 we also have a comma b to be equals to 1 comma 3 that is here we have a equals to 5 b equals to 1 and we have a equals to 1 and b equals to 3 so and from what we have which is 5a plus 6b was equals to 7 when we test here can put the first solution here 
equals to 5 so that will be 5 over 5 plus 6 over 1 is equals to 7 then here 5 over 5 here is 1 so we have 1 plus here we have 6 is equals to 7 1 plus 6 here is 7 which is equals to 7 left hand side equals to the right hand side and also testing with the other one 1 comma 3 so when we substitute here as well a is 1 that's 5 over 1 plus 6 over 3 is equals to 7 then here this will be 5 plus 2 is equals to 7 and here we have 7 equals to 7 so left hand side equals to right hand side and it's the integer solution here for this problem are 5,1 and 1,3. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next time and bye for now.